Hey everyone, Saturday has arrived. So welcome to our seventh session of eThinker Weekend. I'm Shahrol and returning again this week is me, Farah. So last week we did a steward through a balloon experiment and it was such a really fun and interesting experiment. As we can see, the polymer electricity of the balloon make it not pop even when we poke it with a skewer. That was amazing. Anyway, Cheryl, what is the experiment that we'll be doing today? For this week, we'll be creating a bubble snack. Wow, reptile? Uh, yeah, my favorite animal. But what do you mean by bubble? Sorry, Farah. We won't make a real snake. We are going to make a bubble snake instead, where the bubbles will look like a snake. Great, can't wait to make my own snake. So what do we need to make the bubble snake, Cheryl? All the materials needed are easily obtained from home. All we need are small plastic bottle, a bowl, elastic band, dish soap, food coloring, all clothes or any tin towel, scissor or pen knife, cotton buds, and a tray. I can't wait to do it, Cheryl, but before we start, we would like to remind you to not eat or consume any materials from this experiment. Next, please be careful when using sharp tools, or you can also ask your parents or older siblings to cut it for you. Lastly, please bear in mind that this is a very messy but fun experiment. So we suggest you to do this experiment in an open space or you can cover your working place with plastic tablecloths. Now, without further ado, let's get this experiment started. Are you ready? If you are, give us a thumbs up emoji in the comment section. Okay, first, grab your empty bottle and scissor or a knife. All you need to do is you need to cut the bottom part of the bottle. Please be careful with this step as we're going to use sharp tools. You can also ask help from your older siblings or your parents to cut it for you. And for today, I'll be using pen knife. And I'll be using a scissors. So let's cut it. I'm gonna start slowly and then cut it around all right after you're done cutting the bottle this is what it should look like you don't need to wait you don't need to have a perfect edge. It can be kind of broken. All you need to make sure is that you have half of the bottle. All right, next, take the tin towel to cover the end of the bottle. Okay, for this one, we already pre-cut, but you, if you have a large towel, you can cut it in half, and then you can secure it tightly with an elastic band. Just like this. Make sure it's a nice tie. You can double wrap with the elastic band like this to make sure it's tight around the bottom. Like this. So now, we're going to put aside for a second so we can prepare the liquid part. So here, we're going to take a bowl and we're going to add two things into the bowl which is water and dish soap. Then put it into the bowl, pour it. Okay. And then mix it up. So, 
It's not too far more bubbles, okay? All right. To make it look like this. Okay. Once the bubbles are ready, now let's pick our bottle back up and we are going to use our food coloring to paint the towel using a cotton bud. I highly recommend you to use the lighter colors like yellow or orange so you get a better, nice, clear result of bubble snake. Okay, so now we're going to paint our cloth. All right. I also recommend you to paint your towel like a pattern like stripes by using the cotton bag. Okay. So you get the best result later. Okay, you guys also don't have to be worried if your food coloring accidentally get into the bubble bowl. Patterns. Okay, I'm going to use a different color, which is blue. Let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to use blue. So this is our pattern for today. It's just strikes, but you can do any pattern that you like. You can be creative with it. sure you cover all of the surface okay as much as you can uh, oh my god <laughs> don't worry okay you, you don't have to be worried if <laughs> accidentally be careful guys <laughs> I am done. Wait, uh, just a little bit more because I'm not satisfied with the color. Okay, so make sure that the food coloring is covered as much as possible with the towel. Okay. All right, so I'm done. This is my pattern. How about you, Cheryl? This is my pattern. Okay, great. Now is everyone ready? Hold the button upside down like this, and we're gonna dip it into the bubble bowl just for a few seconds, and then we're gonna lift it up. Don't forget to open the top, okay? So we can blow it from here later. Okay, now we're gonna clean up the table. 
and we're gonna take our tray. Ready? Upside down, and then deep it in. Ready, Farah? Yeah. One, two, three. Get up. Ooh. <laughs> now all mix. Now the best part, you gotta blow. Ready? Blow. Woo! <laughs> Wait, let me try this again. This always happens to me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this snake is coming for me. <laughs> I'm glad that it's not venomous. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is so long. <laughs> Why is that long? I did it. How are you? <laughs> Okay, so remember to blow down the bottle, guys. Not suck it. Okay, just blow it. I'm going to try this again. Also, <laughs> also make sure that it's tight. Oh yeah, you did it! Yay! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh my god! It got my my shawl. <laughs> Okay. Great. I hope you guys did too. Okay. okay. Now, if you're having some problems in a bubble snake, here are some troubleshooting tips. If the bubble doesn't come out as long as what we did, you can try to add more dish soap into the bubble bowl and mix with the water. Try to make the best bubble mix. Okay. This is so fun. Now, I want to try to blow it again, but this one I'm going to try with the one that I've been prepared and I don't want to color with any food coloring and want to see what color will appear. So I'm going to make new solution because these have been uh, mixed up with our colors before. So, yeah. I'm going to pour water a little bit. I'm gonna mix up with dish soap. Oh, that's not what I <laughs> right. Mix it up. There you go. Okay. Now I'm gonna dip it. Dip it and then lift it up. Okay, I'm gonna put it this side. Whoa! Oh, can you see that color, Farah? Yeah, it's a rainbow. Yeah, it's rainbow. Can you see the different color? The one that we did with the uh, food coloring and without food coloring. Without food coloring, we get rainbow result. So, do you know what happened, Farah? Yes, this occurs because the visible light from the sun is known as the white light. It contains a range of colors, all with different wavelengths that, when together, form white light. The color of the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Yes. When white light from the sun shines through the film of the bubbles, the light is reflected and disappears, splitting the white light into a different wavelength, revealing all colors of rainbow. But how about the bubbles itself? Can you share with us how it's work? Yeah, with pleasure. What we did is we exhale all these gases called nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide coming right out of our mouth. And we make hundreds of tiny bubbles where it traps the gas. And we end up with this amazing big long bubble snake. You're right, Farah. 
Furthermore, bubble consists of a thin film of soapy water filled with air. When you blow a bubble, the film expands outwards. The forces acting between the molecules of the bubble cause it to form the shape and that enclose the most volume with the least surface area of sphere. Yeah. <laughs> sphere. Okay. Thank you for the very detailed explanation, Sharo. I hope you guys enjoyed the experiment today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in our Facebook comments. Before we end our live session, please share your video or picture of your bubble snack activity by using the Google form provided in the comment section. In the Facebook comment section. As usual, we will use one lucky winner per session and start a chance to win 10 ringgit popular watcher and our official Penang International Sign Fair t-shirt from Penang Sign Cluster. And the winner will be announced every last week of the month. So stay tuned for the winner announcement. Thank you so much for joining us today and we hope you enjoyed the last session. Feel free to give us some feedback using the link provided in our caption so we can improve on our next live session. We will see you again in our next live session. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's so fun. Huh?